I'm here today with Mr. Eugene Kaspersky, CEO of Kaspersky Lab, one of the fastest growing IT security companies worldwide. Mr. Kaspersky has a long-standing relationship with ITU and Impact, and Kaspersky Lab are a knowledge partner of the upcoming ITU Telecom World 2012 event taking place in Dubai this October. Mr. Kaspersky, thank you very much for being with us. Where do you perceive the greatest threat of cyber conflict at the moment? I'm afraid it's about industrial systems because we depend on IT, everything. Everything around is managed by IT systems. Uh, industrial uh, factories, uh, transportation, uh, power grid, what else? Air, elevators in this office. And unfortunately, these systems, uh, they are designed uh, quite weak from the security point of view. And unfortunately, technically it's possible to attack these uh, systems and uh, the damage is unpredictable. The result could be catastrophic. And I'm afraid this is the most serious problem which we're facing in the cyber world. And uh, that's why I'm talking about this. And that's why I see that our cooperation with ITU uh, is becoming on the next level because uh, I see that uh, in ITU, uh, they also understand this problem as a one of uh, the most or maybe the most critical problem in the cyberspace. It's the evolution of cyber threats. In the very beginning, that wasn't serious. Uh, there were just cyber hooligans, vandals, which wrote uh, some quite a primitive computer viruses uh, just to display some messages or destroy data on the hard drives. Uh, then they, they became cyber criminals, uh, more professional, sometimes very professional people, uh, which are motivated by, by money financial results of uh, the criminal activity in the internet. Now it's becoming more and more dangerous because now under their attacks, it's not just computers, not just uh, the, uh, computer systems, but also mobile phones, also their networks, regional and global networks, and industrial systems. Eugene Kaspersky, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, thank you for your questions, and that was a pleasure to talk to you.